à 12 de DDO. Attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Allumage Vulcain, allumage des deux EAP et décollage. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Les paramètres à bord sont normaux, la propulsion est nominale. And we're off. Ariane 5, powering out into the night sky here at the Guyana Space Center. That streak of gold coming from those two powerful boosters. Just catching the sound of that now here, 15 kilometers from the pad as she flies over. And ATV Georges Lemaitre is on its way. Destination, our human outpost in space, the International Space Station. People in the viewing stations will have felt the ground shake. I've sent Charlotte out to go and watch the launch in uh, real life rather than on the screens here. So we'll wait to hear how she experienced it. Right now, the boosters are doing all the work. They're literally pushing us away from the Earth's gravity. That's what keeps us stuck to our planet. Makes it very difficult to leave as well. And we may get lucky and see those boosters falling away there with the naked eye. Each one is burning two tons of propellant. That's an awful lot of propellant per second two tons per second. Just to give you an idea, if you filled your car once a week, that's just about the amount that you would be using in a year. Separation des étages d'accélération à poudre. And we did see them separating their superb sight, the boosters falling away. And this, ah, there we go, the two dots on either side and the white dot in the middle tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. is the Vulcan engine that you can see and those boosters falling back down. We're shedding weight. We don't need them anymore. We're losing each stage of the vehicle once it's burnt up its fuel because, of course, the lighter we are, the faster we go. Right now, we've lost about three quarters of our weight in just over two minutes. So right now, the main stage is doing all the work and you can see its Vulcan engine there. That's the white dot in the middle and still a dot of booster falling away to the left of the screen. Everything's going according to plan, he says. If you look at the bottom left, you can see our altitude is 106 kilometers above the Earth. We are at a distance of 232 kilometers if you were to draw a straight line, and our speed is two and a half kilometers per second. We're now losing the fairing, and Charlotte has just come back into the commentary box, having seen her baby into space. How did you feel? It's better if I turn the microphone on. It, that was quite something. It was absolutely spectacular, and I still got the. Pas des de rattrapage suite à la séparation de la coiffe. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. I got the blazing lights of the the boosters in my eyes. It, it's it was fabulous. You've Spotless. got the retinal imprint. Yes. <laughs> and what about the sound? And what about the, the impressive? Absolutely impressive. No chance anybody uh, in this area could miss that. People quite frequently go to the beach to watch it. Charlotte, let's just tell everybody about um, these, uh, the, the curve on the top right-hand side of the screen. What are we looking at here? Yes, um, the green curve is the calculated curve. So this is the expected trajectory. And the yellow overlay is the actual trajectory as calculated from what we're getting from uh, Ariane. And if you look on the, the picture on the... 
he's saying everything's going well and uh, according to plan. And on the right-hand side of the screen, there in the middle, you can see the image. We can actually see ATV for the first time now. And these are computer-generated images that we're looking at, Charlotte. Yes. We know what's happening, or we know what should be happening, uh, every minute and every second of the, the flight. But of course, we have no cameras to, to show it to us. So we have this excellent animated view of what's going on uh, up in space right now. and. Um, uh, in parallel, the Ariane launcher is transmitting telemetry down to the telemetry stations here in, in French Guiana. And includes uh, this includes the, the various mission events which are being reported by the DDO. And here at the Guyana Space Center, it's been a very busy time. We've already had six launches this year. Today's our seventh, and we're preparing more.